Okay, this is what the locket does. You twist the capsule shape until it becomes a heart shape, and then the lid slides open. Close the lid, and the heart becomes a capsule again. Pretty cool. Okay, here's how it might work. First of all, um, let's make the wall of this side transparent so we can see what's going on inside. And there is an axle running from the other side of the locket that turns a wheel latch. What this wheel latch does is engage and disengage a pin. In capsule formation, the pin will be in and the lid won't turn. In heart formation, the pin will be out and the lid will turn. I'll, I'll show you how it does that in a minute, but first let's jump over to the other side. Now our side is the one that is turning and the other side is stationary. The axle goes on and is attached to our side and thus it is turning. And this latch is attached to a cylindrical axle that runs outside the turning axle. And it is not turning because it is attached to the other stationary side. This pin is running along the sleeve on our side and although it's harder to see, the same thing that has happened on the other side is happening here. The latch is engaging the pin when it is out of heart formation and disengaging it when it is in heart formation. Also notice this other little pin is constricting the twisting motion of the locket to 180 degrees. Now um, let's look at the hinge because that's the tricky part. Each side is actually carries a half hinge and when they're together they push each other around and form a full hinge. These pins here run into holes on the other side of the hinge so that they can't turn when they are not in heart formation. And these threads here do three things. First of all, they help uh, the lid keep be kept in place so it's not just the pin that's doing all the work. Also, they make the lid unscrew slightly, helping it ride over some ridges that I didn't bother modeling on the edge of the lid. And they just kind of help keep the lid in place. And, and finally, uh, these threads run along a passage on their opposite sides. So when the passage ends, the lid open is constrained to 90 degrees. And that's all there is to it.